Hey YouTubers, Jimmy here. Just figured I'd do a quick short video talking about the rear locking differential and why it's important or why it should matter in a four wheel drive truck, Jeep, whatever. Um, what your differential does, your locking differential, on the F-150s, you pull the knob out and when you do that, you'll see a little light illuminated telling you that the rear end is locked. This does not mean that I'm in four wheel drive, okay? So I'm still in two wheel drive. Uh, one way that you would use this is say, like in the corner of the yard, it's raining a little bit here, you can see that there is kind of a tight spot. I'll back up a little bit so you guys can see it. All right, so that's my parking area beside my other Ford there. And as you can see, one wheel is gonna go off of the pavement whenever I park there. So you don't really wanna use four wheel drive on you know, dry pavement because it will bind up as you're turning or wet pavement as you if you will so if i decide to park there and i don't want a wheel to spin with that mud over there i can just lock my diff keep one wheel on the pavement and you will never spin and notice i did not put it in four wheel drive and here we are just drove through the mud and didn't spin a wheel so so that's what's cool and you can just turn it right back off so it takes a lot less time to put it to lock the differential and to put it in four wheel drive and another time this will be useful is if say you were going on a hill so anybody that's ever went four wheeling or i mean even on a four wheeler truck whatever jeep you know if you're on a hill sideways and it's raining muddy snowy icy or what have you and you try to go you could potentially slide down the hill so instead of your truck maintaining the slope it'll slide downhill and get you into a lot of trouble so in that situation you wouldn't want your differential lock you wouldn't want what's called positive traction because you're just going to slide downhill into a lake into another car into a tree whatever so you want one wheel to be able to spin if that happens that will keep you from sliding downhill so you don't want positive traction so sometimes you want your rear end lock sometimes you don't um, another scenario if you're going through a creek, a ditch, at an angle, so you're not going straight up, you're going at an angle, anybody who's ever been in a four wheel drive that doesn't have quadra lock, you know that one wheel in the front's off the ground and one wheel in the back, you're not going anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're in four wheel drive. So you can lock the differential and just keep on trucking. So that's why the rear differential is important to be able to have the option to lock and to unlock. 